Welcome to Class Photo Composite Tutorial. To create a photo composite, you have to select first at the main menu File New. Then you have to input a file name for saving your data and a folder in which this file will be saved. The next uh, step is to input the dimensions of the composite, selecting the width height and units used between inches and centimeter and the resolution. The resol resolution is used for uh, creating the final image. Then you have to select the aspect ratio of the images you will add to the composite. The most common is a 2x3 which is a vertical standard image. The application it has a panel control at right, split it into different panels, one for students, teacher, frames, clip art and text. Each one has its own controls. Let's start by selecting the students one and dragging the student files into the design area. After dragging them, they will be automatically distributed and uh, placed into the design area. And each time you change the margin, the blue margin lines, the distribution will change accordingly. The application will try to fill the area between the uh, lines. Please notice that the software will try to distribute the images in as many rows and columns as needed to fill the area between the margin lines. But if you uncheck redistribute after changing margins, you may manually set the size of the images and add or remove rows. This is done at the right control panel. Just uncheck the option to redistribute after changing margins and as you can see, now moving the margins will not modify the distribution of size, only the distance between images. Then you can set a new size for the images and add or remove columns. Each of the rows has its own number of pictures. You only have to make sure that the total of images in all the rows matches the total of pictures in the composite. Otherwise, the sum at the bottom of the rows will be shown in red. As you can see, you can create your own distribution for the rows and columns. And this is uh, available both for students and teachers, as we will we see later. Once you have set the distribution, you may change the text at bottom of the images by selecting a specific font, a color and a size, and also the width of the text box at the bottom of the images. This is set with the sides margin control. The top margin control sets the distance from the, of the text from the bottom of the image and the line height sets the interlinear height of the text, the distance between lines into the text box. You may set a color for the text at the bottom of the images and if the font allows for it, you can set if the should be displayed as bold and italic. Another option to add to the images is the frames, frames and shadows. You may set a frame size to surround the images with its own frame color and the shadow size. This can be set also for both the students and the teachers. And at the bottom of the right panel, you can see the list of text at the bottom of the images. This uh, way you can easily edit the texts. And adding a hashtag will insert a new line between the words. For example, between last name and first name, you may add a new line by inserting a hashtag. Now let's do the same with the teachers. Just select the second panel by clicking at the icon at top, the teacher's icon, and drag the teacher images to the design area. They will be placed into the margins for teachers. These margins are different of the ones for students, but the controls in the panel uh, control are equivalent. The difference is that this only applies to images and text of teachers, not students. This way it's easy to differentiate between these types of images. 
class photo composite also includes backgrounds and clip art. Let's start first with clip uh, backgrounds. Just click at the third icon atop, the one for frames and backgrounds, and then drag one of the available backgrounds into the design area. As you can see, it will frame your composite. But you can also add your own images by dragging them from an application like Windows File Explorer or Finder in Mac into the design area. Just select a JPG file for the backgrounds and drag it into the design area. As you can see here now, we have a background filling the design area. In case you are applying a frame to the background or you don't apply any of them, you can also edit a background color. If the background is a full uh, file, like, like a JPG, then you won't be able to add a color. The next option included in the application are clip art. Clip arts are used to uh, include a banner or a text at bottom like putting the name of the school over the year or for decorative purposes. After dragging a clip art into the design area, you may resize them with the control atop. And by selecting them, you can move and place it in a different uh, location. And of course, you may add your own clip art by dragging them in a similar way than with backgrounds. Open your Windows File Explorer or Finder and drag them into the design area. At top right, you will find a trash icon to delete the uh, clip arts. The last option is adding text. Text uh, can be added uh, by selecting the last panel and then clicking at Add New Text. Once it has been added, you may edit the text and change uh, the color, the size of the font, if it is uh, bold or italic, and of course the text itself. Just type a new one into the text uh, field at top. Like with clip ads, you may uh, remove them by using the trash icon at the top right. Please remember that to be able to uh, modify one of the elements into composite, like clip art, background or text, you have to select first the appropriate panel control at right. This has to be done by clicking at the top icon. That is one for student, teachers, frame, clip art and text. As we mentioned it earlier, there is an option to edit the text at the bottom of the uh, images. Remember that including a hashtag will insert a new line. We will see it now for editing the text at the teachers and adding the class subject to them. You have to select the teacher panel at uh, top right to make active the teacher uh, panel control. And now you can edit the text at the bottom uh, list box. Add a hashtag to insert a new line and then write down the subject of the class. If you add more than one hashtag, you will be more a space between the lines because it inserts two uh, hashtags. It's very easy to edit them. Please notice that the files used uh, for this application, the files uh, for uh, students and teachers, have to be in a specific format. The name should reflect the text to be included at the bottom of the images. Then the most common option is to uh, write down the last name or last names, then a comma, first name and the hashtag to separate the name from a last name. This way, the files are sorted by last names and are written as a name, a new line, last name, as you can see here in this composite. Once you are finished your uh, design, save it by using the main menu and select the export option. You have to input a name for the JPG result file and a folder. And in a few seconds, uh, Class Photo Composite will create the JPG file with a high resolution uh, composite. 
this is the end file ready to be printed or shared with your friends or family. It is done at the resolution you have uh, input at first by, while creating the composite. As you have seen, it's very easy to use Class Photo Composite to create your class, school or team composite in no time. Thanks for viewing and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial.